My name is David Andre, and in this video, I'll show you how to self-host your AI agents. Self-hosting means running your application on a server that you control. The alternative is cloud-hosted solutions, or SaaS, both of which mean someone else controls the server for you. Now, there are many benefits to self-hosting. First, you have full control over your data and over the privacy. Second, it's usually way more affordable than cloud-based solutions. And third, you avoid ecosystem lock-in. So if you want to move your AI agent elsewhere, you can do so very easily. So here's the plan. First, I'll show you how to build a simple AI agent in Python. Second, we will SSH into a virtual private server. And third, I'll show you how to deploy that AI agent onto your VPS. I'll show you the VPS option because not only is it the most convenient, it's also the most scalable and the most affordable type of self-hosting. Now, you might be thinking, but David, what even is a VPS? A VPS stands for Virtual Private Server, and it's a remote Linux server with its own RAM, its own CPU, and storage on a shared machine. So to deploy your AI agent on your virtual private server, first we need an AI agent. So let me show you how you can build your own first agent in Python. You don't need any framework, nothing like that. We're gonna use AI to do the coding for us. So you can do this even if you're a complete beginner. So let's jump into Cursor and let's open an empty project. You can use either Cursor, Codex, Cloud Code, whatever AI agent you want. We're basically gonna one shot this, right? So my goal is to build a simple agent and to show you how to deploy it. So first off, I'm gonna create a markdown file named buildidea.md and I'm gonna paste in the build idea. And as you can see, it's very simple. An AI agent that runs on a daily cron scrapes the Hacker News front page and saves the top 10 posts into a markdown file. You can review this weekly, monthly, doesn't matter. This agent will always be running on your VPS, no matter if you check it or not. So all you need to do is give it a list of commands and a list of times, and it will run those commands on those times. Anyways, let's jump back into the IDE, and I'm going to be using Codex, because right now it's one of the best coding agents in the world. I think it's better than Cloud Code. So let me expand the left side, and all I'm going to do is type in build a simple project folder structure for the build idea in, and then I'm going to tag the markdown file. The goal is to then deploy this agent on a VPS. So let's use Python only. Boom. Pure English. You don't have to be a professional developer. These AI agents have gotten so good over the past year, it's actually kind of crazy. And you can see that on the right, we already start seeing some of the folders, right? We have the data, scripts, and SRC. We also have the env file in which I pasted in my password for the SSH server, but more on that in a bit. And then we have the build idea.md. And as you can see, Codex is already creating these Python files and it's working very fast. I'm going to explain the concept of Hacker News. This is a kind of a news site that usually shows you stuff that's happening in the software and startup space. And by the way, you can use the same type of AI agents to scrape any website, whether that is archive for re interesting AI or machine learning research papers, whether that is Twitter for what's trending or any other side you want. What I'm about to show you is very versatile, so feel free to adapt it for your own use case. Anyways, Codex has finished building, so as you can see, it created like eight different Python files, each of them being very short, like 20 to 30 lines. So then I'm gonna ask it, tell me how I can test this project here locally. Answer in short. All right, so first we need to activate a Python environment. It's suggesting me to create a virtual environment, but instead I'm gonna use Conda. So we do Conda activate testing. Then I'm gonna do pip install dash r requirements. I'm just following the instructions that Codex is giving me. So this will install all of the dependencies of this project. And then the last thing we have to do is type in Python script slash run digest. This is the Python file that will run the digest. And boom, there it is. Yeah, these are the top 10 posts. One shot it. No errors, no issues. The AI agents are getting too good at this. Now, this is already very useful. We have an automatic way to scrape Hacker News every single day. But to make it an AI agent, we need to add another layer on top of it using an LLM that extracts some useful insights from this. So since this is a bunch of context, I'm leaning towards using a reasoning model to give us actually useful thoughts rather than just a typical you know, non-reasoning model. So for something like this, I'm gonna switch to perplexity, I'm gonna switch to deep research, and I'm gonna ask it, read the official open router docs and tell me how I can use GPT 5.1 thinking with medium reasoning effort. And now Perplexity is going to do the deep research. And honestly, you can use ChatGPT as well. Claude, Gemini, it doesn't really matter. Perplexity just has a very balanced deep research that doesn't take too much time, but still checks 40, 50 sources to give you a detailed response. Then what I'm going to do is, while that's running, inside of Cursor, I'm going to create a new folder named that docs. In there, I'm going to move our build idea. I'm going to create a new file as well, name it open router and that MD. And in here, I'm going to paste in the research findings from perplexity so we can easily tag the file anytime and reference it. Now, since our project already works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize a new GitHub repo, git in it, boom. Then I'm going to stage everything. Actually, no. First thing we have to do is create a git ignore. So I'm going to go back into Codex and 
tell it create a comprehensive git ignore for this project. And the reason for that is we have an environment variable, right? So here we're going to put all our secrets and uh, env variables such as open router API key as well. And this needs to be ignored by git. You do not want to track your environment variables by git. That is a very bad habit. Then I'm going to do another git command, git add dot to stage everything. And then I'm going to do git commit dot m first commit. Boom. That way we can track everything through Git. Even if we don't use GitHub, we're just going to keep it simple for now. Anyways, let's see. Perplexity has finished. I'm going to click copy, scroll all the way down, click the copy button, switch back to our IDE, paste it in into the empty Morgan file, save that. And then I'm going to go back to Codex and I'm going to say read openrouter.md and update our project so that after we scrape the hacker news front page, we will run a single API call to GPT 5.1 thinking, telling it to analyze these hacker news stories and extract actionable insights and trends in the AI space from that data. And then we append the response from the LLM into the same MD file. So this is going to convert a simple scraper into an actual AI agent that can generate unique insights from this data. And obviously, as the news stories on Hacker News change, this will be collecting different trends. So even if you take two weeks off and you kind of feel that, okay, maybe you might be out of sync with what's happening in the AI, maybe you think that you're falling behind, you can just check your VPS and you will have 14 different reports, each of them telling you what are the latest things happening in AI so you can get up to speed super fast. And it doesn't take a genius to see how we could build on top of this and make it a lot more powerful. But if you watch until the end, you will have the necessary skill set to not only build AI agents, but to self-host them on a VPS. So really, if you sit down for the next 10 minutes and pay attention, you will be far ahead of everybody else. Okay, so it seems like Codex has finished the updates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, stage everything. And I'm going to do another commit, git commit added LLM processing. Boom. This is a very good habit for any project that you're going to develop for more than two hours. Initializing a git repository makes sure that even if the AI agent messes up something, you can simply go back to the previous commit. Okay, so before we deploy the agent to our VPS, let's just do a one quick test locally to make sure it runs. Tell me how to test this locally. All right, so we probably need to reinstall requirements.txt because we have some new dependencies, such as the OpenAI. SDK. Then we actually we need to change because it wants me to export the uh, API key, but we already have the environment file. So what I'm going to say is change the code to use the .env file from root folder. In the meantime, we need to switch to open router. Top right, click on keys. If you don't have an open router account, just log in with your Gmail or your GitHub. Super fast, super simple. Takes 20 seconds. Then go to top right, click on keys create API key. I'm going to name it subscribe. If you're watching this, make sure to subscribe. It takes two seconds and it helps out a lot. And I'm going to click on create. Boom, copy that. Do not share your API keys with anybody. Treat them as passwords. They should be completely private. Then make sure to hit command S to save. A codex already finished because it's very fast. So what we need to do now is rerun this command. Python, execute this Python file basically. So I'm going to clear the terminal and run it again. And we have an error. What's happening? Boom, I'm going to paste this in, boom, logs, explain this error and fix it. We might be passing some extra stuff that open router doesn't like. Okay, it's missing a proxy. All right, so let's open the terminal, reinstall the requirements and then rerun the script. Now, actually, I want to make two more small tweaks. First of all, I changed the reasoning effort to low to make it faster. Second, we want the command line to give us more info. So I'm going to say add four more print statements so that we see some logs in the console as the program is running. Because right now we don't really see anything when we activate it, which is very difficult for debugging and just knowing what's happening. Okay, fetching. Okay, so you can see the hacker news part is very fast. Now it's generating the AI insights using the GPT 5.1 thinking model through open router. Okay, so let's look at the report. We have the sources and let's see below. There it is, AI insights and trends. Here are the key AI relevant trends emerging from these stories. AI infra consolidation, okay. Inference moves to the edge, that's true. A lot of inference is moving to local devices like phones and laptops. So if you wanna learn more about open source models, watch this video. But yeah, this is really good. You can see that we have over 200 lines, almost 300 lines of analysis of what's happening on Hacker News. So obviously you can then do whatever you want with this. You can resell this to companies where you know, as a consulting, or you can turn this into a social media agent that tweets about these stories and reports on them. Or you can just use this for your own use cases to brainstorm new product lines, new marketing campaigns. 
there's like hundreds of different ways you can utilize this. But anyways, now the AI agent works, so let me show you how you can self-host it on your own virtual private server. First off, to visit the Hostinger site, click the link below the video. Now Hostinger offers many different VPS plans, but I think the KVN2 one is perfect for most of you. And it's also the one me and my team use internally. So click on choose plan and this will redirect you to the checkout. Here, select the period. I recommend going 24 months because when you build your agents, you want them to be running forever. Plus you get a really, really solid deal when you go with the 24 month plan. You even get a free domain for a year as a bonus. And since Hostinger was kind enough to sponsor this video, if you click on have coupon code and type in David, you will get another 10% off of your plan. Next, we need to select the location of our server. So just select whatever is the closest to you. And then what remains is finishing the checkout. So click on continue. Next, we need to create an account and this takes 20 seconds, super simple. Now, after you sign up, you get redirected to the billing page where you fill out your name and your billing details and complete the purchase of your VPS. So if you're serious about building AI agents, make sure to check out Hostinger, use the link below the video. It really is the simplest way to host your AI agents. So once you finish the checkout, you will see your Hostinger panel. So on the left, click on VPS, and this is your virtual private server. Click on manage, and we can see the CPU, the memory, all that stuff. But for now, what matters is the root access, right? So we want to SSH into the VPS, which is how we can access the server from cursor right here. Now, you're probably wondering what SSH even means. SSH stands for secure shell, and it is a protocol that lets you securely access a remote computer through the terminal. Now, here is why that matters for AI agents. First, you get remote control, meaning you can manage your server from anywhere, whether you're in Cork, Ireland or in Dubai. Second, thanks to the SSH protocol, you get a secure connection to your server, meaning all of the communication is encrypted. Third, with SSH, you can also do file transfer. So let's say your AI agent generates a large report, or maybe you have a fine-tuned model and all of these weights of the model are like multiple gigabytes. Well, with SSH, you can transfer that to your server, no problem. So let's switch back to the IDE and I'm going to ask Codex, now help me deploy the AI agent we've just built onto my Hostinger VPS. First off, what do you need from me? Answer in short. Boom. So we can work with the AI agent to help us deploy the AI agent we just built. First, it needs the VPS details. So this is uh, going to be easy. I'm just going to screenshot the stats of our VPS right here. I'm going to paste this in. Here are the VPS details. Then it's going to need SSH access info. So I'm going to copy this root access right here. Next, here is the SSH info. Boom. And as I said before, I kept my password inside of the ENV file. So it's right here. And again, do not share your passwords with anyone. I'll need to reset my VPS password right after this video. Otherwise, anybody watching could SSH into my own server and do whatever they want in there. Now, if you forgot your password, just click on change and type in your new one. Hostinger makes this super easy. All right, so I'm going to say, tell me what to do next. In the meantime, I'm going to open a new terminal. Boom, type in clear. All right, so inside of Hostinger, just click on this copy button right here next to the root access. Open your any terminal and just paste this in. Boom. You can see that it's asking for the password. So I'm just going to copy mine, paste it into the terminal and don't worry, it doesn't show. So don't expect some characters to appear. It is pasted in, just hit enter and there we go. Then I'm going to type clear to just get a nice clean terminal. All right, so we are inside of the server, which is beautiful. We're SSH to connect into this hosting server. So if we ran some, you know, endless loop, we could see the CPU go up or something like that. Obviously, we don't want to crash our server, so I'm not going to do that. But if you type LS, you can see all the files. As you can see, I already have one test folder right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to do make directory to create a new folder, which will be named the hacker news agent, which is what we just built. So I'm going to paste the sudo command right here. Boom. And if we type ls, we should see a new folder. Next, I'm going to run the second command that Codex gave me. And if we type ls now, and then I'm going to cd into that folder. Beautiful. We can see that we're inside of the new folder we just created. And since we're running Ubuntu as our Linux distro, we need some of these prerequisites, such as Python free virtual environment and pip to install all the dependencies. So first, I'm going to do apt update. And guys, I'm just following these instructions from Codex. To be completely honest, I don't understand all of this. I'm not a VPS expert, but I know how to use AI and I know what I want to do. If you just have these two things, a little bit of intention and knowledge how to use AI agents, in 2025 and 2026, you can build literally anything. All right, so our server has been updated. Next, I'm going to run apt install and all of these dependencies. Some of them should, or I think Hostinger installs most of them. You can see that it's very fast, which is the benefit of using Hostinger. 
it already gives you a server that's ready with most of these dependencies. So there's very little maintenance you actually have to do. Like personally, I'm not a sysadmin and I have no problem managing dozens of different AI agents, some of them in Python, some of them in NA10, all running on a single hosting or VPS. And you can see how little we're using, just less than 1% CPU and only 13% memory. This VPS is a beast. It can handle hundreds of different agents running on all kinds of different use cases. All right, so all the prerequisites have been installed. Let me do clear once again. And this is the important part. Next, we're gonna be deploying the agent we build locally onto the VPS. Now, to copy our local project to the VPS, we're gonna use SCP. SCP is a SSH-based command line tool that allows you to securely copy your project from your local machine to the server. So I'm just gonna copy the exact full command that Codex gave us. And as you can see, this is the local path to the project, so we need to change this. So I'm gonna actually do PWD to get the full path on my computer to the project. I'm gonna say update the command you just gave me. This is the directory on my MacBook. Boom, Codex is super fast. It gave me the command, so let's go into our SSH. So I'm gonna copy this new command and we actually have to run this in a new terminal, not in the SSH, right? So we can actually kill this and just open an empty terminal, paste in this command. It will try to connect to the VPS again through SSH. So we need to copy the password one more time, which means it's gonna ask for the password again. So let's paste that in, boom. And as you can see, it's copying all those files one by one to our virtual private server. Now Hostinger gives you 100 gigabytes on the KVM2 plan. So that's more than enough for a simple project like this. And there it is, it's done. So the next step is to SSH into the server again, boom. Paste in the password. There we go, let's do clear. Then we need to cd into the new folder we just created. Beautiful. Next, activate the virtual environment with Python VNV. Copy the source command to actually activate the VNV. There we go, on the left we can see the dot VNV, which means all of the dependencies we install are isolated to be in this Python environment. And then just run pip install again, exactly like we did locally on our machine, but this time we're doing it on the VPS. And the last step that remains is to test whether our AI agent works. So type in Python scripts slash run digest, hit enter. And we can see that it's fetching the front page, it's parsed the top 10 posts, and now it's generating the AI insights, all of which is happening on the VPS. So this is not happening locally on my MacBook, right? I could be doing this on a toaster as long as it has SSH, as long as it can connect to a Linux server, you can operate a VPS. And this is really the beauty of self-hosting. Your virtual private server runs in one location. So in this case, I selected the UK and you can SSH into it from anywhere. So even if you're in Antarctica, it doesn't matter, right? Your AI agents are still running in the UK using this cron job to regularly scrape the Hacker News website. Amazing, so the AI agent finished running, it created the digest. All right, so what remains is setting up the cron. So we need to SSH back into the VPS. Boom, it's gonna ask for the password again. Let's copy that. And this will let us automate when the agent runs. There we go, we're in, let me do clear. Now to set up the cron, you have to do cron tab dash E, hit enter. This will open a cron tab editor. Now, as you can see, I have the nano selected, but if you're doing this for the first time, it will ask you like between four options, just select nano, it's, uh, it's the simplest one. Now, you have to go all the way to the bottom, so you can just use your arrows to access the editor and go below all the comments, right? So the hashtag blue text, those are comments. You need to go to the bottom and then here, paste in whatever command Codex gives you with your open router API key already inserted. And this will set up the daily cron at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna paste it in, copy code, paste it in, boom. And by the way, if you wanted to run twice a day or every five minutes, all of that is possible with cron. Just tell Codex and it will give you a new command. Now pay attention because using the cron editor requires some keyboard shortcuts. You have them at the bottom. So first we need to do control O. This writes it, right? And then we need to hit enter and it saves this cron job as a file. And then we need to do control X to exit the cron tab editor. And that's it. The cron is now active. So the agent will run autonomously on your VPS at the specified time. So this is 9 a.m. daily. Now to verify that your cron job has been created, just do cron tab.l dash l and you can see that there we go this is our command and it is here it exists and it will run on the vps every single day so now you know how to self-host your ai agents on a vps 
hopefully you enjoyed this more technical video if you did please subscribe and i wish you a happy productive week see ya